Welcome to the Average Rook. We are still playing Resident Evil 4. It is now time to go through the rest of this supposed church. Try and find the president's daughter. This was the focal point of the beginning of the game when everyone just started piling through it when the bell was ringing. So we have to go through here. We also bought a few things from the merchant, like this tactical machine pistol. I have no idea how powerful or useful it's actually going to be. We've also got, um, how much ammunition do we have for anything else? We, we're kind of screwed. Um, I might need to move this over here. I might move one of the eggs over here. Can I move? I don't think I can move the egg here, can I? No, I can't. I'll just move it over here, I guess. Or I can combine with this. No, I can't. But what I can do is I can do this. And this, and that makes it disappear. And then I can move some stuff. Uh, let's um, there we go. Uh, we'll keep that there. I might move this over here. Move this over here. Uh, this over here. This over here. And then I've got a space for something else, I guess. Then re-equip this. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Got a thing leading up. Not seeing any specials, so climb up. Where are we right now? Okay, we're outside here, we're outside. Oh yeah, this is supposed to be like a graveyard. Hopefully there's not gonna be any beasties that, like, uh, dig their way out of the earth. Let's try to take it nice and easy. It probably won't be too long before some enemies pop up. They've got to be, like, around the corner. But I also know that because this is going to be a... Well, because that was a crypt, we're going to be close to the graveyard, which means that we're going to be close to some more medallions. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. What, what happens if we collect all of them? I know if we collect at least 10, then we get a specialized gun. Oh, okay. Take it a little bit careful. Ooh, ooh there's a... Hopefully that's not going to be bad for me. Uh oh. Okay, that was a little bit quick. Take the rifle ammo. Ooh, five. That's pretty good. Hmm. Oh. I'm going to try and pick him off. Oh, well, that was quick. Okay, move him back down here. If they stop piling in, and if they're endless, then, uh... Well, it's been a long time since I saved, so I might be a little bit screwed. Well, maybe I can just, like, continue back from where I arrived. Okay, there. Popping up from there. I need to move a little bit further down. Oh. Come on behind me, is there? No. Just focus on this. Small taps. I said small taps. That was not a small tap. You shot two bullets instead of one. And that was apparently it. I can't imagine that's it. There's gotta be more. Alright, I'm trying to try and peck these off. Uh-huh. Alright, oh, there's one in the distance. There we go. I just recharge that back up. Be careful, there might be some more uh, crows. Might be some things that pop up from the ground too. Take that for 200 pesetas. There's a thing over here. Take that for some ammunition. That's some well needed ammunition. There's gotta be like some more. There's gotta be another enemy around here, maybe. I can at least shoot these. Okay, that's one. Or eight. Uh. Okay, got that one. It's nine. There's gotta be more. Uh, hold on. I can get that one. I think. Oh. Okay, that's ten. How far are we f away from the others? Uh, a lot further away. 
Um, but at least I can quickly go back, hopefully, and attempt to get that specialized gun. Mr. Pirate Merchant, what is your specialized Welcome. gun? Welcome. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. Uh-huh. Well done, stranger. I see you've shot enough number of medallions. Like I promised, go claim your specialized gun in the buy screen. Don't worry about money. This one's on the house. What are you buying? Well, we got the Punisher. This 9mm handgun will blast a hole through two enemies. Interesting. So, that's got less firepower. It's got less of a reload speed. How is it supposed to be any better? Uh, at least we can probably sell the handgun. Alright, let's give it a shot. Um, replace this. Put it down here. Unfortunately, uh... <laughs> Alright, that's annoying. Thank you. Or maybe I can sell it at least. I know I'm gonna be selling the handgun ammunition, which is going to uh, not be good. I don't want to sell the Punisher. I want to sell the handgun. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. Alright, can I tune buying? it up? Oh, reload speed, capacity. I don't need to upgrade that. And apparently I can't upgrade the Punisher. Let's just hope it's actually useful. Come back at any time. Sure. All right. We could probably test this at some point. I might continue using the tactical machine pistol. Um, let's go back up, see if we can find some more goodies. Okay, crows haven't come back. And the, uh, the wandering enemies haven't come back. I'm really convinced that there's gonna be some people popping up from the gravestones, and that's no good. Just charge up. Just in case. Probably should have gone back to save. Like, where's the furthest save point? It's all the way at the back there, and that's very annoying. I kinda wanna go back there just to save. Hold on. Hello? Oh, there's no one in here. All right, take the handgun ammunition. Slice this up for nothing. Slice this up for some pesetas, 800 of them. And that's pretty much it. Uh, how far am I away from any other save point? That's, that's pretty far. And there's a save point over there. I can just wander back. Um, I think, actually, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back, I'm going to save, and I'm going to go all the way here. It might take a couple of minutes. Two minutes later. All right, let's start making our way up. Keeping a lookout for any crows and any more enemies that might pop up. Which I'm pretty certain that there will be some enemies there. Hmm. I don't suppose I can shoot the bell from here, can I? No. Alright, keeping an eye out. I see some medallions, and I already see one enemy over there. Hmm, I might want to pick him off. I'm gonna swap out for the, uh, the rifle. Let's see if I can get him. Got him. I just charge up in case. Okay. That might not be the only one. Thought so. Shit. Oh god. Shit. Shit. Oh my god. Okay, I'm glad I saved on that one. Okay. Uh, I might do away with the the healing up. That might not be necessary. Is he running? Oh god, he's gonna get me, isn't he? No, he didn't get me yet. I might just switch to a different weapon. Maybe this. See what this one's like. There we go. I think I saw another one up there. Do I get anything from him? No. Alright, let's see how far I can go while being beat up. I'm pretty sure I saw an enemy there. All right, I might be able to close the gap. I'll go as far as I can without actually uh, healing up. See if I can get him here. Un oh, for fuck's sake! Oh. 
There he goes. It's probably not the last one there. I think I see one over there. Oh, I don't have any more bullets, do I? Alright, well, I'll just collect this. TMP, and then I will switch back to this. Let's see how far I can get. Are there any more enemies here? Not seeing any in the immediate vicinity. There's like, uh, there seems to be like three areas that I can go. One of this. There's like one door, there's one that goes all the way that way I might take. There's also some of this stuff that I need to shoot down. I saw a blue medallion here. I need to shoot that one. There we go. That was 11. Now, now that I think about it, maybe I should heal myself with something. I could use one of the eggs. That heals me up for a little bit. And that heals me up for a lot. Okay. Alright. There's apparently something along that... Hold on. I don't see any enemies there. But some around here. Ha. <laughs> I also took out some other enemies there, too. But is that it? Something special over there. Take. 1,000 pesetas. And this one, another 1,000 pesetas. Hmm. Operate. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be using. I don't know what guide I'm supposed to be following in order for that to work. Wait, let me take a look at the map. So this is, this is apparently a treasure that I can operate. So I'm guessing if I operate it badly... Three family insignias of the dead ringers. It looks like the dial only turns clockwise in either three or four increments. Okay, so... Quit. Hmm. The insignia. Has it got anything to do with the insignias I've been seeing around? Check the keys and treasures. Oh, I used the key item. Uh, this is not going to help me. This probably won't help me either. No. But there should be an insignia around somewhere. I think I might want to leave that alone until I find three family insignias. That might be somewhere inside the house. Alright, so the other areas that I've got... Uh, there was one... Oh, wait, hang on. I think there might be a medallion way up high. Yeah, there we go. Go on, tap it. Just gonna aim and tap it. There we go, that's 12. There's three more down that way. I might see if I can pick those off before I head through the house. Let me just see. Uh, there's no save point in the house, but apparently that's where we need to go. Let's go down here first. What the hell? Leon. Have you reached the church yet? Technically, yes. Uh, well, yeah, sort of. Leon, did I mention not to take the scenic route? At any rate, Ashley's probably inside that structure. Yeah, Rescue we know. her, hurry! We're gonna get there in just a moment. It's... I wanna go down this way first. I wanna see if I can pick off the, uh, the blue medallions. How far away are they? They're across... This... Oh. Bye. So, I'm guessing there's more of them. Light tap. That was not a light tap. There's a lot of ammunition that way. We're gonna be more along here. Let me just see if I can tap that. Uh, it's... No, I don't think it's gonna be possible. Okay, I got a 13. There's more, like, down there. The medallion, like, right over there. I can just see it. I'm not sure I'll be able to get it from here. I got it. But where's the other one? It's apparently, like, really close. Might be underneath me. Now, the direction I'm looking at... 
It should be like right nearby. Oh, wait, I see it right there. Let me just see if I can get it from here. All right, that's 15. Hmm. I think I might want to uh, go back to the uh, the merchant, see if he can give me anything with the 15 that I got. Two and a half minutes later. Before we head into the house, I believe I have just noticed that there is a bird's nest right here that I can shoot down. Let's see what that contains. I think that is... Is that an incendiary grenade? Yes, it is. That might be good for the, uh, for the biggins with the chainsaw. I'm not seeing any more, uh, in terms of birds' nests. So I might just leave that alone. Now, I'm not certain that we can go through there directly. I just want to take a look around, uh, this door here. We might not be able to access it. It won't budge. It's gotta be locked from the other side. Okay, we may have to go around just to get into there, which means that the only way we can press forward is apparently through this. Okay, it won't open. There's a round hole, maybe something fits here. Hunnigan, it's Leon. The door's locked, I can't get in. Didn't they teach you how to pick locks at the academy? No. There's some sort of indentation, like something might fit inside. Like a ruby, maybe? Well, there's no use standing around. Leon, you have to find some way or something to get inside. Well, we may have something. Won't we'll open this round hole, maybe something fits here. Okay, so I'm guessing none of our items will do towards getting that. That is a little bit annoying. That means we can't actually progress through here. And unless I were to examine one of these uh, gravestones, see if I can find something. Or maybe it's actually there. I think we actually have to... Oh, wait a minute. One second. I... I'm gonna zoom in for this one. Equip. Alright, so we've got an M there. We've got an S there. And we've got a V there. So we gotta go back to that, uh, that, whatever that special was. Might just quickly, uh, switch back to the, um, we'll go for the Punisher for now. We're gonna go back to the special over in this direction, and that should help. So operate this, so three or four increments, so, wait, actually, looks like a dial only turns clockwise. Either three or four increments. So one, two, three. We want to do three. Okay, that's uh one, two, three. We'll go four. One, two, three. Let's go four. Three. One, two, three. Then three. And that should do it. Alright, so we got that little green cat's eye. Alright, that should help us get into the door. Alright, let's see if the green cat's eye works on this. Wait, it's not? Seriously? What do I have to do, shoot it? That's not gonna do it. Okay, that's not gonna get us into the house, unfortunately. We'll have to go further along in order to get something that gets us in there. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to stop the episode here. All right, so whatever we're looking for is in that church structure. Unfortunately, we do not have the means to get through that door. There's an indentation and it requires something inserted into it. And in the next episode, we might have to go down that pathway to find whatever it is that is going to open that door. So, thank you so much for stumbling onto one of the most average gaming channels out there. Like and subscribe for more if you enjoyed the video. Check the corresponding playlist, any of the recommended, or any of the links below. I'm the Average Rook, and I shall see you soon, for there is more average content coming your way.